Are you serious? Are you serious? This is a terrible night last night. Tornadoes breaking out everywhere in Virginia. Four people are dead. One was a small child. The storm system that brought this deadly tornado to Mississippi and Louisiana wrecked destruction along the East Coast um, yesterday, mangling, as you can see. In the, I mean, just devastating, mangling buildings and taking more lives. Uh, this possible tornado, which you know it had to be, Waverly, Virginia, killing three people. One was a two-year-old boy. Uh, and then another man was found dead in another county there in Virginia. The news brought the two-day death toll from the storm to seven. So, that, of course, we had three people killed. Uh, two were killed in Louisiana. One was killed in Mississippi, and now four in Virginia as this storm system just wrecked havoc from the south all the way to the east coast. Some 209,000 customers were without power. Uh, according to the utility companies in several states, including the District of Columbia. One witness told CNN that the destruction in the small town of Waverly was completely devastating. Now, cars were crumbled on the highway. It picked up cars and threw them into the ditches, said a medical assistant who drove the mobile home park where the three deaths occurred. We just have to pray. And the other victim was a 50-year-old man and a 26-year-old man who were in the same trailer as the two-year-old boy. Their bodies were all found 300 yards from where the trailer once sat. You have to understand, three football fields. The tornado picked up the trailer with the three people inside and their bodies were found three football fields. I mean, this is unbelievable. That is the power of these tornadoes. Uh, there was a big ball of fire, uh, storm and debris headed directly at their cars. Uh, it just The wind picked up the car, dropped us down. And uh, these are different testimonies of people. Mass destruction everywhere. Uh, it's just a sad situation. Of course, we're praying for everybody. In Virginia, we were last night, and we got this information last night. We were praying for all of you down there, and we, and we just want the online church, uh, the Publicly Prophecy online church, know that we were praying for you all last night. We're still praying for you, those of you in that area. Uh, we're not hearing as much directly from some of our direct members, which uh, in a way is probably a good thing because that means most of you are safe and sound. We have, though... Uh, received information that this was a very powerful storms, and as you can see by the pictures, the def the the devastation was horrendous. Pray, please, folks, as we uh, we're only in late February, and we haven't even hit March and April yet. So there's a lot more tornadic season yet to go. Um, but we're in prayer. Pray for the families of these that have been lost, and. Um, those that were injured as well, we continue to pray for you. God bless you. And I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. We're caught in the whirlwind. We've sown to the wind. America has, and we're reaping the whirlwind, as it says in the Bible.